Hey everyone, I'm Brian Botkiller, and today we're going to rock a review of the organic Dark Side of the Moon e-juice from virginvapor.com. Now, I've already reviewed one other virgin vapor juice that I got from my sampler pack that I purchased from them. That was the organic blueberry maple syrup, and you can check out that video. Uh, this organic dark side of the moon is part of the sampler pack I got. It is 100% vegetable blister and 12 milligram nicotine using only certified organic flavors, kosher nicotine, and distilled water. Has a batch number listed on the uh, bottle, which is great. I think uh, that virgin vapor does their homework when it comes to really knowing what they're mixing and what they're selling. The juice is a little bit dark, as you might see, and it smells like a spicy cocoa. It's interesting. Um, this was described as sort of a chocolate tobacco, which is why I was interested in it. Uh, I don't taste as much of the tobacco in this, I'll be honest, but um, I do really like it. So let's hit it. We're going to do this on the Nautilus Mini. Uh, running at 1.8, 1.9 ohms, somewhere a little bit in between there, and we are running at uh, about 4 volts, so let's hit it. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. Um, the chocolate is a little overbearing, just a little bit, but I'm not really a chocolate guy. I'm also not usually a sweet juice guy, um, but I really like the sweet stuff I've been getting from Virgin Vapor. The other one I reviewed, the organic blueberry maple syrup, is kind of sweet, um, and it was great. This one, chocolate-wise, I don't taste the tobacco so much. Um, I imagine there's a little bit in there. I don't taste it as much. I think the chocolate is a little bit overpowering. But, you know, it's okay because just the flavor of it is really nice. And it's not like chocolates I've had in the past that tasted so fake that I just could not vape it. This actually tastes and smells just like chocolate. It's really crazy. I mean, when you smell it, it smells like chocolate. And that's because the flavoring is organically derived. I and mean, this comes from real stuff. <laughs> you know, guys, this is not and nothing against it, but it's not Flavor's Apprentice or anything like that, or Flavor Art, or anything along those lines. It's not chemicals made to mimic the flavor of something else, like what is used in so much of our food, and candy, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's nothing like that. It's actually derived from real ingredients, and that's what Virgin Vapor does, and I think that that was what really attracted me to them, the fact that they are completely organic. They uh, state that they don't have any diacetyl in their uh, batches. They test their batches, from what I understand, and I think they really got their game down. So I have to give Virgin Vapor a huge, huge thumbs up. I really dig what they're doing. Their juices are a little more of a premium juice, price-wise, and that's because it's organic. You're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to have to get over that, because why are you vaping chemicals? Uh, why are you vaping neon blue and neon green juices and all that kind of stuff? You started vaping to get away from chemicals. If you're vaping super neon, super colorful, colorful juices, um, that obviously are not from ingredients that are real, you're pretty much just, you're still inhaling chemicals. And obviously you're inhaling some chemicals one way or the other when you vape, and I will not stay on my soapbox for long here. But um, if you're just vaping a bunch of chemicals, I mean, yeah, you're not burning them, so it's not like burning tobacco where there were a bunch of chemicals. But still, I just don't think it's a really great idea. That's my own thing. Your mileage may vary. And remember, taste is subjective. Vaping is subjective. But that's my own feeling on it. So I don't know why you would want to vape something that is not at least sort of natural. And I love the fact that Virgin Vapor is completely organic. So uh, I love what they're doing. Um, as I say, because the juice is organic, the pricing is going to be a little higher. For like 15 milliliters, I think you're looking at somewhere a little under 13 bucks. Plus shipping, which for me was 250 from California. It's not too bad. It got here extremely fast. Um, that works out to maybe a dollar a milliliter. A dollar a mil is really good when you come right down to it. Um, 
It's not a bad price for a good quality juice. These little bottles are about 4.5 uh, milliliters, I believe. Uh, Virgin Vapor says they overfill them a little bit. So I got three sampler bottles for $11.99 plus some shipping. It's not a bad deal at all. It lets you try them out and then figure out what you like. I know I'm going back for more because I absolutely dig what it is the Virgin Vapor is doing. Now, if you want to check out more about them, visit the link in the description of my video. Check out, of course, their website. Visit them on Facebook because they do do giveaways and... Um, and announcements, discount announcements, things like that. Find that on their Facebook page and subscribe to their email newsletter. I've already gotten a discount code from their email newsletter. I've been really happy with their customer service. They shipped extremely fast, which was great. I have nothing bad to say about Virgin Vapor whatsoever. I think that they're gonna be my go-to juice supplier because I prefer organic juice, and it's hard, very hard to find still, especially certified, and this is certified. So. Hope you guys found that useful. That is the organic dark side of the moon juice from versionvapor.com. A little bit of chocolate, mostly chocolate, a little bit of tobacco. Uh, great throat hit at 12 milligram nicotine. I don't think I mentioned that, but great throat hit. VG giving you some really impressive vapor production, and the flavor is just outstanding. So overall, big win, big thumbs up. Hope you guys found this useful. As always, please make sure to subscribe for more. Leave me a comment if you've got questions or anything else. Visit me at brianbotkiller.com. Find me on Twitter, and as always, Always make sure to rock the vape. I'll see you next time. Take care. You said lie.